friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 9th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do. Giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at our sun for the past two days. Imagery brought to you by Gong and NSO. Having a look at some pretty large plasma filaments that are visible here on these images. Those long black lines. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming. Active sunspot region that is Earth facing. Producing C-class solar flares. The X-class solar flare yesterday was outgoing. In the outgoing position. Visible here in the imagery outgoing active sunspot region there producing x-class solar flare and now we've got a pretty complex sunspot region earth facing and as well plasma filaments look at all these filaments dancing and erecting from the surface of our sun right now all kind of positioned in a weird way following the magnetic field of our sun i'm sure and as well the magnetic field of our sunspot regions you can really see the magnetic fields there and as well our heliosphere in action we do have earth facing coronal holes as well still north and equatorial the others are turning away amazing images here brought to you by go 16 satellite noaa and nasa mixed with daily events worldwide having a look here at four sunspot regions that are earth facing 3917 is a complex sunspot region and there's a couple new births within it so stay tuned aware and prepared current space weather conditions are none to speak of solar winds are coming in at 463 kilometers per second thanks to those coronal holes solar x-ray flux nothing since yesterday with the x flare but multiple c-class solar flares throughout the day today proton flux is low geomagnetic Geomagnetic activity hopped up to a KP4 overnight. Having a look here at the ISWA space prediction spiral showing the most recent coronal hole event and as well coronal mass ejection impact. And no new major solar events heading our way, but ISWA showing a most recent coronal mass ejection looks like it could be impacting us. Let's see here. 13th into the 14th, our next geomagnetic event, or aka solar storm. Mercury is not quite done with its retrograde just yet, and the earthquakes are still piling up. Just waiting for a big flash, big solar flare to get things really going here. Having a look at the aurora forecast for tonight, going to see some aurora borealis for sure in the northern hemisphere southern hemisphere not so much and most of the viewings will be in alaska and over russia and europe and then to greenland and then another forecast here likelihood of aurora tonight and tomorrow now let's have a look at alaska too showing the last two days of imagery taking off from our sun, cosmic energy, creating the dance party that everybody's invited to, the best cosmic dance party on this planet, in the solar system for that matter that I know of. And thank you so much for tuning in today. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, maybe share with a friend. Now let's have a look at earthquakes. 280 earthquakes according to USGS the past 24 hours, and earthquakes are still rocking Alaska after couple earthquake watches this week and boom 6.3 yesterday 6.1 6.3 again today so three large magnitude earthquakes as well notable 5.6 earthquake here conchagua el salvador 4.7 and a 5.6 dominican republic and eastward to puerto rico the virgin islands 4.3 ranging to 4.0 as well, notable earthquakes all across the North American continent, including Howardville, Missouri, right atop, right atop one of the most hazardous um, pieces of our North American craton, the New Madrid. As I said, 266 earthquakes in the past 24 hours. Having a look here at the hazard map, 
As you can see, this is one of the hazardous regions in eastern the United States, Howardville, Missouri, seeing multiple minor earthquakes right in the hazard zone. So heads up, we've also got earthquakes right piling up still off the coast of Petrolia, California, as well minor activity inside Yellowstone Lake. 2.1 minor seismicity at best, but they are starting to pile up all across the Pacific Northwest and all this activity through Alaska, this is all starting to move eastward. Having a look here, 33 earthquakes since yesterday, since the 6.3. We saw another 6.3 just after midnight today. So, Earth is a rocking and a rolling. Multiple earthquakes striking Adak, Alaska. Very active volcanic ridge all across the Aleutian Islands and then westward into Kamchatka and Japan. So heads up, we we could see something even bigger, like for instance, a large volcanic eruption or a large earthquake over the next 24 to 48 hours. Heads up, especially Japan, 4.8 there right in the fault line. 5.7 here, mid-Indian Ridge right on the fault line. Notable 3.9 earthquake, Hannon's Australia, Western Australia, reporting a 3.9, very rare, and as well, rare, no deep earthquakes, Fiji, New Caledonia, or westward. So, again, a lot of activity, a lot is happening right now. African plate, be on watch over the next little bit. Interesting earthquake here, Prazo, Italy, 3.9 earthquake. South American plate, 4.9 there towards Peru. And the earthquakes are piling up in Alaska. Let's have a look at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. Largest being the 7.3 magnitude earthquake that struck California, Petrolia, California, just days ago after an earthquake warning here with daily events worldwide. And thank you all so much for sharing. There's been a lot of new people in the know and aware and prepared. Heads up, Wanda Fuka Plate, north to north and westward to Japan. Earthquake watch and warning yet again. Waiting for a deeper earthquake to help trigger the timing, but still, region here as well, South America Central to Cocos Plate and into the Caribbean. Heads up, you live in an earthquake prone zone. Be aware and prepared. African plate, you don't normally get big earthquakes, but I'm expecting something big here. This is all connected magnetically to the core from the outside in and from the inside out. Our magnetic field pulses and moves and has created our planet, all thanks to our sun. Now let's have a look at our wandering poles. This is a look at where our North Pole was back in the late 1800s when they started, when they were able to report exactly where the North Pole was. And look how much it's moved here. Look at back in 1831, it was just over parts of Nunavut, Greenland, towards Greenland. But it has moved so much towards Russia over the past hundred years and dramatically over the past 50 years I'd say that's a little bit concerning considering it's documented that our planet goes through magnetic excursions and as well magnetic reversals throughout history so could this wandering quickly wandering North Pole towards Russia mean that we are on the verge of a pole flip? When we've seen multiple reports and multiple theories coming out around the world, for instance, the South Atlantic anomaly, all of the earthquakes, all of the extreme weather events that have been increasing, could this be due to solar cycles 
I do believe it is, because it's all connected. It's all connected, my friends and family. But this is moving quick. Having a look here, Antarctic. Look at where it's moved from beginning recordings back in the late 1800s. It's literally off the continent of Antarctica and completely antipode opposite to South America and the South Sandwich Islands, which is where the South Atlantic anomaly exists. So we're waiting for new reports here to come out and find out exactly where our new North Pole is and South Pole. So you've got your magnetic north and you've also got your true north and vice versa. But this is our magnetic north pole that is moving dramatically. And it's shifting our weather. It's shifting the sands of time. It's shifting mountains. It's moving mountains. But it's also taking a lot of lives. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody who's been affected by natural disasters over the past throughout history because these are natural disasters a lot of them a lot of them are man-made as well but when we go through these big events they're out of this world thanks everybody for watching today this is looking at our magnetic field showing our upper level winds depicting our northern polar vortex Hope you enjoyed all the information shared. Please like, comment, and share with all your friends and family. Stay aware and prepared. Stay and have fun.